Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Anything you need to know about me, guys, is down in the description box. All right, guys, let's get it. This is the Halloween deck. It's called, I think it's the Halloween, Halloween Oracles. Let's see what we have. What's going on, right? This card is huge. I mean, bigger than that, I can't shuffle them. Oh, your ancestors. The love and legacy of our DNA. So your ancestors are around. They coming up. <laughs> they coming up from the roots. So your ancestors are around you. Your passed over loved ones. Some ancestors, you don't even know where your ancestors. It looks like they're supporting you. It looks like it's the legacy of your DNA is what's keeping you going, right? You got the strength of your ancestors, right? It's like they built you up with that tree. What else we got? You're in the skull of light. That's illumination. Maybe your ancestors are trying to point something out to you. Maybe you're already thinking it, but you can't quite put your finger on it. So maybe your ancestors are here to help you. The love of legacy and of our DNA. Let's see, the underworld, where all things pause and begin again. Pause and begin again. So it looked like something ended in your life, right? Something paused. But your ancestors are here to tell you that it's time to build it back up again, right? Mm -hmm. And it's where all things begin again, where all things pause and begin again. So something was put on pause in your life and your ancestors is trying to shine a light on it to let you know it's okay to begin again whatever that is right let's see holy spirit holy spirit angels ancestors ancestors what do you want to tell us what do you want to tell the collective not me not me i'm just a messenger I'm just a deliverer. Yeah, they're telling you to rebuild this, this four wands. Some connection. The love and legacy of your DNA. It's in the four wands energy. Somebody could have walked away from an empress in reverse. Like they left, they left this person out in the cold, right? They're tired of feeling left out in the cold. There's no new beginnings here, right? As far as you know, there's no new beginnings. But it looks like your ancestors are telling you to try again, maybe? Where all things pause and begin again. It looks like somebody walked away from a baby's mom. Or a sister or aunt. Somebody who has children. Somebody, you know, who's very motherly. Stuff like that. I could also be a man, you know? Men take care of kids. They do. By themselves now. It's crazy. Run the household by themselves now. But somebody left this person. Let's see what's going on. Wow. Was it too many burdens in there? It was too many burdens. They did have a family with this person, Ten of Pentacles. But why was it too many burdens? Because it was something that they did. It was the Knight of Swords in Reverse, the Knight of Swords in Reverse. So, somebody went and created a baby and then left it because it's creating problems in their union. They may be in a union. This person may be married to someone else. You know what I mean? Somebody went out there and created a baby. So are your ancestors telling you to go be with this person that had this baby? Or are they telling you something ended and y'all can begin again? Something became too many burdens for this person. They created a family with an empress in reverse and left it. 
but it looked like it was something that they rushed into the knight of swords in reverse it's something that they did and they regretted it right so they rushed in they created a baby with somebody right it was swift it was it was chaotic they didn't realize but then we're all things pause and begin again so what's going to begin again spirit what is it right was this person married and they went out and got somebody pregnant? They went out and created a family. And that was their birds. They created birds in their own family. They're leaving because they want their marriage back. They want their marriage back. Ten of cups. Regardless of where that baby is, where's the baby? Because that's messed up. Even if you are going back to your lover, your wife, whoever you with, Where's your baby? Where's your child? Make sure you tell your wife about that child. Okay? Make sure you tell your wife about that child. Or whoever you for wanting it with. Make sure you let them know about your baby, your seed. Because if not, that's going to create conflicts and lies in your life. Holy Spirit, where's the baby? Where's the baby mama, right? Where's the baby? They don't love it. They don't love the baby or the baby mama. Ace of Cups in reverse. They don't love it. You son of a bee. Now see, see my energy done switched up because now I'm here for the baby. The baby not asked to be in tarot. But the mama's going to persevere. So somebody don't want our other baby. But the mother's going to persevere. She's going to push through. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Well, all things pause and begin again. Somebody's going back to their marriage after they created a baby with someone else. Look, swimming away to common waters. It's not common waters. You created a baby. You got a baby. Lord, guys, somebody is trying to, somebody, somebody created a baby outside of their marriage and they're trying to go back to their marriage. Yep. Uh, it's almost like I don't know what to ask it. Holy Spirit, what else do you need to know, right? Queen of Swords. This is somebody, a very perceptive lady. She's no nonsense. So that's who the problem was. They regret, they regret what they did to this person. That's who they're married to or in a union with or whatever, civility house, whatever, sharing bills and stuff. But see, she's very perceptive. Eventually, you will, whoever this is, this may be you. You will get the answer. Maybe this is your answer today. But somebody's in regret. Mm -hmm. They regret what they did. But they're going to try to fix things with you. Are they trying to fix things with you? Or are they going to try to go and make things work with their family? That's the Three of Pentacles. Too many people are involved. Too many people are involved. There's only two cups to be shared. Who the hell gets the cup, right? They have a lot of regrets. They regret they involved other people. They regret that they offered their cup. They regret. They regret. They regret that they created a family, right? But they're walking away. They're hoping for a better outcome, guys. They're, they're hoping for a new beginning with you. They're going to come in. You that bad B. You're the Queen of Pentacles. You know, one of the many bad bees. There's several of us in this stack here, right? <laughs> but that's where they're headed. And they're they're trying to heal, but how do you heal guilt? By walking away from a baby. And then look who's on top, the Page of Pentacles. The child. That's a child. They have no hope for that child. Is that right? There's the tower because of the child. No. It's not the tower because of the child. It's a tower because of you. It's a tower because you stepped out on your wife. You stepped out on your husband and went and got somebody pregnant or they got somebody pregnant, right? 
I mean, come on. It's definitely a man. Man, you stepped out. You stepped out. You played your wife. Let's just say it is what it is. You played your wife. You did. You played her. And as soon as I said it, I saw 1010. You played your wife or whoever you're living with, your stability, whoever you're sharing the couch with every night, the remote, the bed, the mattress, the address, the, the car insurance, whoever you sharing with. You don't have to be married. You could be in an apartment, a condo, in a house, a rented house, whatever. Stand with relatives. Y'all are together. Ten of covenant. So you may even already have a family with this person. There's the kids right there. You just make sure when you go back home that you tell your wife that you got a baby out there. I think she should know, right? And then she can decide what she wants to do. So they're coming back, guys, hoping for a better outcome. How do you get a better outcome? You gonna come back and tell me you created a, a shorty doo-wop? You got a baby. How do we get past that? I mean, I know some people can. It would take me hell and high water. You would see me on the other side. I don't know. I don't think I could forgive it. And I'm just being honest. And the only reason why I don't think I can forgive it is because it would always be in the back of my mind. It would take me out of myself to where I'm trying to figure this person out. It would take me out of myself when they got to go get the baby or this and that when the baby little and they want to spend time with the baby. In order to spend time with the baby, you got to be with that mama. That mama ain't going to let you bring that to my bowl, would you? You know what I mean? So it's like, that's why I can't get past it. If this was me, go raise your baby. That's how I would feel. That's how I would feel. And if your baby's a teenager and the baby was already here before I came up, by all means, I welcome it all. Bring all your 10 kids. They can't stay with me, but bring all your 10 kids. <laughs> and I'll love them when we have barbecues and shit. But I, all 10 of them can't stay with me. So, but yeah, your kids already got to be here before I step in the room. You can't go out and make kids on me. That's just... And I know some people's like, that's not right. I know it, it's a matter of, it's it's a personal choice. I know I wouldn't be able to get past it. I know it would be jealousy, angst, pissed offness. Uh, it would be too much to where it would shake up my life. And I'm always happy. So why welcome that? I wouldn't, well, people have a choice. I would not welcome that into my life. But this mofo, go tell your wife you got a baby. That's all I'm saying. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.